What's up, y'all? What you got to say? Who's on the two bunch of big black Blu-ray? It's time for another Blu-ray update. It's been a while, I know, but like I said in the past, these are not going to be as often as they used to be. Uh, I got a big old stack here. Uh, well, it's not that big. Not compared to my my um, hauls in the past, but it's a decent stack here. And once again, I have watched all these films, so I can talk about them a little bit. And I'm ready to get these put up in my collection. I have another huge stack over here that I still haven't watched yet. That will be in my next update. So, as always, sit back, relax, and let's look at some Blu-rays. In case you guys have missed it, I uh, posted another mix on my YouTube channel. Uh, go check it out. It's a good mix. I really liked performing it. And uh, stay, tu um, stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I do go live here and there, and also I've tried it on Facebook, and uh, I've done a block party, which I call DJ uh, Big Block Block Party. And I go live on there and DJ live on the weekends. So yeah, check them out. First up here, I got this from a pawn shop for three bucks. It's the rundown with the rock. Uh, Sean William Scott, it's nothing to brag about. It's a decent movie, it's okay. I just like the rock. And um, anytime I see any of his movies, I always pick them up if they're like cheap and this is $3. So figured I'd grab this and check it out again i watched it on cable a long time ago and like i said it's nothing special but it's a new age horror i mean horror i got horror on my mind because october starts tomorrow but anyway it's a new age action movie um yeah it's decent but I, like i mean you know, i wouldn't i wouldn't pay more than five or six bucks for that one i picked this one up at games plus shouts out to you guys i know the guys that work there some of them watch my videos um, picked this one up there for my, me and me and the wife, and uh, that's The Shack. This was a really, really good film, man. Um, you know, it's one of those God movies, you know, about uh, heaven and God and all that. But uh, it's really well made, and Sam Worthington, man, does a really great job. Now, it was a little strange. Um, I'm not going to really spoil it. I think it's in the trailer, and it's on the cover here, but... This black lady plays God. So that was kind of strange, you know, seeing a older black woman as God. But when you watch the movie, you understand why God takes that form. And uh, anyway, it's a really good film. It's got Tim McGraw in it as well. And it's, you know, got a great story. And it really touched me and my wife. So I definitely recommend that if you're into those kinds of movies. Pick this one up at Games Plus as well for the whopping price of $3. And that's uh, Allied with Brad Pitt. And I don't remember what her name is, and it's covered up by the sticker. But anyway, um, check this one out. Real good movie. Um, it was a little bit predictable, but, um, you know, real good. Kind of like, uh, kind of reminded me of Mr. and Miss Smith, but this was like an actual, more like real take on it. Uh, not, not so over the top. And I really enjoyed this, man. It's a good movie. Uh, check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, just, you know, another solid uh, outing for Brad Pitt. And the chick that's in here was really good as well. Um, but anyway, good spy kind of thriller type movie. Got this one a long time ago at the pawn shop, but I hadn't watched it in a long time. And shout out to uh, Eric Rodriguez and Aaron Rodriguez. I know you guys are always watching my videos, so shout out to you guys. But uh, Eric had told me that the villain in this movie gave him nightmares. And I was like, really? Because I, I didn't remember it. And uh, so I popped it back in and watched it again. That's Death Warrant with uh, John claude Van Damme. Dude, the Sandman, he's the he's the um, villain in this film. I don't know why they have him jump kicking a black guy on the cover of this. I don't even remember that part. But um, yeah, the Sandman in this movie, dude, is so awesome. And he is freaky. I actually posted pictures on my Instagram when I was watching this. Oh man, he's freaky. He should have had his own spinoff uh, movies because man, that dude, that dude was a, a hell of an actor. And yeah, man, Death Warrant can't go wrong with old school John Claude Van Damme. So you know how I do always do. Now next up will be the slip covers. Uh, pick this one up for three dollars at the pawn shop as well. The slip and that's Trainwreck unrated. And look at this; it's not even open yet. Um, me and my wife watched this one on cable. Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I'd say a month ago, or it was on Netflix, something like that. But anyway, 
decent comedy for you and the wife to watch or you and the girlfriend whatever your situation is or you and the boyfriend whatever who knows but anyway uh decent flick you know nothing to write home about but for three bucks throw it in the collection why not if she ever feels like watching it again i have it and uh it's funny you know funny and uh like i said nothing to nothing to write home about next up got for five bucks the circle you know, I was shocked that this movie got bad reviews. I really liked it. I mean, I thought the acting was really good in it. The um, story was good in it. Tom Hanks was great. And Emma Watson was great. And, and it really had a good uh, idea of the future. Well, not even the future. It's, it's pretty much now. Everyone is so addicted to their phones and so addicted to... Like, we don't even use our cable TV anymore. To the point where I want to cancel the cable and just increase the internet speed because... My son watches his iPad, my daughter watches her iPad, I watch my iPhone, my wife watches her iPhone. I mean, we don't even watch TV anymore. And when we want to watch a movie, we just go to the theater room and watch a movie like, like we're in a theater setting. So nobody sits around the TV anymore. And that's a lot what this, this um, movie's about. It's about our addiction to social media and what, uh, how it will evolve. And it's basically like if Google and Facebook, like melded together that's what the circle is so yeah definitely check this out if that interests you um, i think it's a great uh take on the future of our society and i really enjoyed it a lot actually i was shocked to see that it got bad reviews i got this one for nine bucks at games plus baywatch the extended ed uh edition again i'm a big fan of the rock i like zach efron as well um, i thought he was gonna be a, you know, another stupid actor um, with abs but he's actually really good man he's good in neighbors he's good in a lot of his movies uh we are your friends is a dj movie that i recently watched with him in it and i'm a real big zach elfron fan man i really like him and of course the women in this film are fantastic only gripe i have about this film is it's rated r and there were no boobs in it i mean come on you got all these beautiful women you got them in baywatch it should have boobs in it but anyway there is a man's penis and ball sack in this as well if you're into that but um <laughs> i mean it's over the top it's ridiculous but i had a lot of fun with it and again that's another one that got horrible reviews but i actually enjoyed it now here's one that got great great reviews and i didn't really like that much and that is jackie uh so got it for 12.77 with that slip cover that opens up Really nice slip, um, really nice uh, Blu-ray, but man, I did not like this movie, and I'll tell you why. Natalie Lee Portman did a great job as far as her acting goes, but the way they directed this film and the way they shot it, they made her look like a psychopath. Like, there was a bunch of weird music in this film that took me out of the movie, and like the camera would be following her around, and she's supposed to be grieving because you know her husband just got his brains blown out right next to her. And instead of her like showing grief, it's like she's like psychotic. I mean, and it wasn't her fault. It was just the way they shot the movie. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't like this. Uh, if one of y'all out there wants this, let me know. Like I said, I paid twelve seventy seven, and I'll you know probably PayPal me five bucks and and shipping, and I'll send it to whoever wants it out there. Um, I didn't like it, so I really don't want it in my collection. But if you're interested in seeing this film. Um, you know, kudos to you. You can get it for five bucks. Why not? But, uh, you know, great acting in this. And also, another complaint I had is I didn't really learn anything that I didn't already know about the JFK shooting. So, anyway, that's, um, Jackie. And that one got, like, hella good reviews. So, I don't know. Here's one I enjoyed. Uh, it was called Heist. It's called Heist. Uh, it has Dave Bautista, Robert De Niro, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Kate Bosworth. A lot of good actors I like, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's only $5 Games Plus. And I really enjoy this, man. The movie's been done before hundreds of times as far as the story goes. But, um, you know, it was it was a decent film. I mean, I really enjoyed it. And I picked it up because I heard Batista talking about it on a podcast. And uh, he was talking about working with Robert De Niro and how cool it was. So I just wanted to check it out. And, yeah, I really ended up liking it. And then when I watched that, it got me into uh, wanting to see, like, the 
action movies I hadn't watched in my collection. So I grabbed this one out of my collection. Yes, I had already had it in the collection. Um, it's not a new one that I bought, but that's Wild Card with Jason Statham. And uh, this was actually a preview on that movie Heist. So um, I went in and I was like, I got that movie, I'm gonna watch it. And you know, Jason Statham is really growing on me. I used to not like him that much, um, but <clears throat> you know, he's really growing on me as an action star. And, and uh, this movie I really enjoyed. Um, again, it's nothing to write home about. It's nothing to like, you know, run out to the store and buy, rush out. But if you see it, the pawn shop or whatever, just pick it up because I, you know, it's actually really good. Here's one I was very disappointed with. I was only five bucks and that's Sleepless with Jamie Foxx. Man, I really wanted to like this movie, but God, it was so corn, like, it was so corny. Um, you know, he's supposed to be a cop and some of the decisions he's ma he makes are, are so dumb in this film. And they just keep going back and forth around and around in this casino. And uh, I mean, just, I would say skip this one. It's not good. It's only $5. Again, if somebody wants this one, again, you know, five bucks and it's yours. It's got the slip on it and uh, I'll send it out. Uh, the slip is beat up though. It's not in the best of shape. But anyway, yeah, I didn't I didn't uh, enjoy that one. So I'm not going to keep that one in my collection. Here's one I really did enjoy. Uh, that's All Eyes on Me with, um, <laughs> with Tupac Shakur. The actor that plays Tupac in this is Tupac Shakur. It's ridiculous, dude. Like how much the guy looks like Tupac. Um, I watched all the special features on this and everything. Tupac's one of my, well, is my favorite rapper of all time. And, and man, they really knocked it out of the park with this film. Again, it's another biopic that you don't really learn anything that you didn't already know if you're a Tupac fan. Um, but for those of you who don't know about Tupac, I'd really, I really uh, insist you watch this, and uh, it's really great. Just straight out of Compton was great. This is great. The Notorious one's pretty good. The Eminem one's pretty good. So yeah, this is just another one to add to the collection. That's real good. Nice slip cover, and uh, the acting is phenomenal again uh, from the main actor. Now the other guys, like the Snoop Dogg character in this, and then the Notorious B.I.G. character in this, they don't look, you know, as much like the real people as he does. But, um, you know, still good acting in there. I picked this one up because I saw other YouTubers picking it up. And I love this slipcover and that's Colossal. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this at Best Buy. I watched this one and man, this was a wacky film. I mean, the idea of it was so crazy. Um, but, you know, was it the best movie? Nah, I didn't think it was, you know, that great. But... <laughs> Again, great um, slip cover and an interesting idea. I'll give it that. So, gonna keep it in my collection. Maybe I'll rewatch it again in a few years and change my mind. I mean, it, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. And, you know, that's colossal. All right, now we're up to the steel books, digi books, and big packs, <laughs> I guess. Uh, first up, of course, you know I had to grab the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Steelbook. The lighting is not that great in here, but anyway, I'm sure you guys have already seen this one. It goes along with the first Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook. And uh, yeah, again, this was a great movie, man. Guardians of the Galaxy is killing it. Uh, part 1 and Part 2, I like this one just as much as Part 1, maybe even more. And the characters are phenomenal. They introduce some new characters. They build upon some of the characters from the first one. And uh, they just really knocked it out of the park with this, man. I really enjoyed it. The visuals are amazing. The, I mean, the movie is shot wonderfully. And I love space films, so this is like right up my alley. Again, like that one, of course, I had to pick up the Lion King steelbook. Uh, just a beautiful steelbook all around. And <clears> hope <throat> oh, still got the code in there. And uh, of course, you know Lion King. I, it's my favorite Disney movie of all time. It's a beautiful film, so I had to get this version of it. And I just really enjoyed it. I watched it again with my kids, and they loved it. And then with that, I also grabbed the Lion King Digibook. Oh, there goes another digital. Co oh, no, these are the... Oh wow, yeah, these are the film prints. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that. 
where he's holding the monkey up. I mean, the monkey is holding Simba up in the air. And then, yeah, again, this is a beautiful digibook. Or this ain't even a digibook. Yeah, it is. But anyway, it's like a storybook or something, but whatever. You know, they change the name of these every five, every time they come out with one. But beautifully colored pages and beautiful digibook to go to the collection and the Disney collection. I wonder if the other film cell is the same, same as that one. Are they all different? No, it's the same. Limited edition film frames. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Did everybody get the same uh, film cell or were they different? I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, beautiful digibook, beautiful steel book. Had to grab them both because I'm an addict. Also, I was uh, rummaging around Target one day and I saw this for $14.99. That's the ET still book. I have the Zavi exclusive, the all silver one, but this one, man, is so beautiful. It just pops. The colors are beautiful. Sorry, the lighting's not the best in here. Um, but yeah, just, you know, of course, classic movie. One of the best movies of all time. Probably in my top 10 of all time. E.T. You know that. I don't have to talk anymore about that. And like with Brian King, I had to get the, like, I think this was a Target exclusive. Or maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember now. But um, that lenticular cover, I mean, that is just beautiful. And one crazy thing about my daughter now, she's only two and a half, and she's obsessed with the moon. And uh, every night before bed, we go out and look at the moon. And I talk to her about one day we're going to go on a rocket to the moon, me and her. And she says, Bubba can't go. My, my son says he's going to stay at home because he's scared. And my, he's going to stay at home with mommy. And uh, But anyway, yeah, just a beautiful edition of E.T., fantastic film and this one's got a little booklet with it uh, anyway <laughs> I don't know why I do that I hate when people do that in videos it's like look at this booklet and like flip through it and, like but uh yeah this is the 4k ultra HD uh, I got this from Aaron Rodriguez thank you brother and I can't wait to hopefully I'm gonna upgrade to 4k this Black Friday slash Christmas so I'll definitely be doing another Black Friday 4K video and all that. So stay tuned to my channel for that. You know I love doing those every year. I've done them the last two years. Uh, this big bad boy right here, I finally broke down and watched all these films during Hurricane Harvey. Those of you who don't know, uh, we were actually stranded um, from work and everything for about four days from Hurricane Harvey, uh, flooded really bad in Houston. Thankfully, I didn't have any damage to my house or my home or, or, or my job even, or, or any of our vehicles or anything. So, but uh, man, for those of you out there who are affected, man, I'm, I'm really sorry. And that's why I stayed off social media. I didn't want people to think I was bragging that nothing happened to us because there were some people in Houston that their lives were totally devastated. So anyway, I got the Hobbit motion picture trilogy. It matches the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It was $35.77 there. And uh, it also came with a code. These are the extended editions. Yes, I watched all three films in the extended edition. It took me like three days, um, but man, I enjoyed these, man. I enjoyed these just as much as the Lord of the Rings films. The Lord of the Rings films are a little bit better. Um, but because the, these focus just on the Hobbit and the dwarves, <coughs> but um, I enjoyed them, man. I really did. I really enjoyed these. So you know, great to add to the collection with the Lord of the Rings. And this is a set that I've had sitting up there on the top shelf for a long time, and I never had watched it. And I was scared to watch this, honestly, because it's it was so over, you know, not overhyped, but it was so hyped up to be. A great film that I thought man if I don't like this I'm really gonna be like disappointed but not to worry I loved this film and that's the Goonies it's hard to believe I had never seen this film before but I finally broke down and watched it and I really really enjoyed it this is a cool set right here it's got a board game in it and it's got some, like a map and some different things in it I'm not gonna like you know, pull everything out and do that. Cause like I said, I, I don't know. I don't like to do that in film and videos unless it's like really professionally done. And I'm not a professional, so. But anyway, um, yeah, man, I really enjoyed this film. A lot of great actors in here. 
um, you know, from nowadays that were kids like Josh Brolin and uh, Corey Haim and just a cool cast of characters, a kooky, a uh, kooky villain, kooky, um, uh, the villains are really goofy and, and it's just a lot of fun, man. So I'm glad to have this in the collection and I'm glad I like it because, man, I would have been really sad if I didn't like this film. Because um, that's happened to me on a few films, you know, that people say are, are fantastic and I really didn't like them, like 2001 A Space Odyssey. So anyway, uh, and also Blade Runner. I didn't really love Blade Runner. But man, yeah, this was great. So if you haven't seen Goonies, give it a watch. You'll love it. And there you go, guys. That's my update for this time. I don't even know what to call it because I used to call them, you know, each month and all that and I don't even know. Like I said, I got another stack of probably 20 Blu-rays on the side that I haven't watched yet. So, that's it, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this pickup haul video. Let me know what you got this month. And uh, I'm still watching you guys' videos. I don't comment on every single video now because, I mean, it's just, you know, it takes up so much time. But, um, I still check out almost, you know, all Big Black Blu-ray signing out. Big Black DJ coming back at you soon.